Hi everyone. So today we have Lokesh. Lokesh has secured All India Rank 25 uh, in this year in Gate DA, which is 2025. So Lokesh, first of all, congratulations for the rank. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lokesh. And uh, Lokesh, can you please introduce yourself, like whether you are our student and uh, uh, whether you are a test series student, complete course student, and uh, uh, when did you finish your BTEC? What was your BTEC, you know, uh, BTEC branch and like that? Can you please introduce? Yeah, I'm Lokesh. I have graduated from IIT Guwahati in Electronics and Communications. I have graduated in 2024. I have taken full course in co classes and I'm also a test series student. And I prepared, like, Sincerely prepared in the last two months. Before that, I have been upskilling my levels in machine learning and deep learning. Okay, <laughs> got it. So, uh, you graduated from IIT Guwahati? Yes. Okay, okay. And then uh, in electronics, right? You are saying electronics and communications. Okay, electronics and communication. And then, uh, have you done any job after that, like for this, you know, six, no, eight months? No. Okay. Like, no. I have been a research intern and a professor Sukumar Nandi on communications. Okay, got it. Good. So, uh, like, then you, uh, when did you, like, first, uh, you know, got interest in machine learning? Like, it's before, three months before my placements. Okay, okay. In 2024, you are saying? Yes, yes. Okay. And how did you discover Go classes? Like, one of my friend, he's also a Go classes enrolled. He suggested that Go classes are good. So, I took the course. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, got it. So it was like your friend's recommendation. Yes. Okay. Got it. So let's start. Um, you know the discussion. So uh, let's just uh, you know talk about your journey uh, in brief first, and then I will be just asking a couple of questions. So can you please talk about your journey, like when you graduated, what was your mind, what you wanted to do, and then uh, after that, how you know your mind changed, uh, if if that is the case for Gate DA, and like how you got interest in Gate DA, like that. I mean, can you please tell your complete journey? Like basically before, like exactly three months before my placements, I have got interested in machine learning and I have majorly applied to the companies which were providing data science roles and machine learning roles, but I couldn't secure a job during placements. So I thought of applying for off campus and everything. So in basically in, during off campus, they were asking like LLMs and in depth, everything about transformers. So I started upscaling them, but even though I upscaled somewhat, but they were asking a basic qualification of master's or PhD. So okay. I thought of attempting GATE simultaneously, like preparing for GATE and upscaling myself further. So I started my GATE journey like that. Okay. From in which month you started, by the way? Like, I think so. It's October, October or November. Okay. Like okay. since the preparation, before that, I used to normally read for some time for GATE and everything. Got it. Okay. But you have been studying machine learning uh, yes, before yeah. that also. Got it. Okay. So uh, then like uh, since you wanted, like you badly wanted to go do machine learning and then you, you thought, okay, uh, master's is, is, is the good option. So now you will be going for the master's, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, by the way, like have you decided your college? Like I'm thinking of IIT Madras. Okay. Because the placements were good and they'll be providing, like, I'll be having an access to internship from first year. So mm -hmm. my resume will be good for that. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the last line you will be having? Like, I can, at, like, I can join any internships, right? Oh, uh, okay, okay. So the there will be weightage for my resume if I have an experience in machine learning and everything. Okay, okay. So you want to do internship uh, very early. So because IIT Madras provide this opportunity. So, yes. okay, that is the reason. Got it. Okay. So uh, since you were full course enrolled student, like, do you remember any, you know, any moment or any concept that were there in Go classes that you really liked? Any subject? Like in DBMS, I, have, I like, func like functional dependency and in AI, I have like Bayesian networks. And in that, in AI also, I like Marco chain very much because in one AMT, I got like there is a question on Marco chains which I couldn't understand at the start and I kept the wrong, I like I marked wrong answer. After okay. again rewatching the lecture, it, I got super clarity on the topic. <laughs> okay, okay. So Marco chain uh, you liked and uh, also uh, Vision Network, right? In AI. Yeah. Okay, got it. And in DBMS, like, uh, uh, like, what is the you know reason behind liking functional dependency that much that you are quoting? Like, compared to other, those were somewhat we can understand easily. But for me, functional dependency were somewhat.
hard for me to understand at that time okay like every rules and everything so it took me like slight interest in functional dependency got it okay yeah. okay so actually uh, you might know nikhil uh, who has secured all india rank 1 this year yeah. so he also mentioned functional dependency in dvms and uh, <laughs> and surprisingly like after the interview deepak was saying ki yaar uh, i don't know what is there in functional dependency like why why nikhil liked like i mean deepak was just surprised ki matlab it is not that much tough topic na like it is it is just you know normal topic so deepak was also like little surprised but now i will send this clip to deepak we'll say that okay lokesh is also like the topic like the main issue is that we have like for checking some properties we have to make our rhs a single element uh-huh. so in many amts i took two elements and i solved many problems so mm. many mistakes were from functional dependencies in amts for me <laughs> got it okay okay so since you are talking about the amt and uh, you were also test series and all student so uh, how was your experience with uh, you know uh, test series questions like i used test series like i haven't attempted live i have solved after everything like okay I after in Jan- okay no sir in january i started to do the test series and everything Mm. the questions which were helped me to revise my topics very quickly so when i attempted any test series or anything so if i got any question wrong i after the test i quickly revised the particular topic which helped me so much in get da got it okay okay and what do you think about um, you know the relevancy of the questions or the toughness of the question like do you think the questions were good or it was a too much stuff not relevant like that like what is your the opinion? questions like compared to amt it was good but amt is are excellent questions <laughs> okay like got it. they helped very much the amts and everything mainly the feedback we get after every exam to check how, how many correct how many wrong in a particular topic and everything it helped me a lot got it okay okay so uh like you do not need to name the coaching name, but i'm just asking like have you enrolled in any other uh, ai like i mean uh, any other test series in uh, any other coaching yes. or something yes. yes okay so only go classes course okay. and only go classes uh, test, test series. series got it okay okay so uh, you have not attempted the subject right test right or have you few of them like on live no not live like i mean uh, any time like yes okay you have attempted subject right also like in those will be available in test series right everything yes, 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 in test series i have already practiced one time okay okay so all of the test you have attempted one time yes wow nice nice so uh, in the test series like we have you know test for almost all the individual topics like for example for linear algebra there was like a special test just oh, for yes. the oh, yeah combined for both csc and da there is a test for linear algebra yes so basically like for example there was a special test just for the projection projection matrix so like that like i mean for every topic there used to be a test so you like yes. that concept yes sir. i like that like so you in, in a go classes test series they basically divided the important topics and created separate tests for each each one of them like it helped me very much to go in depth in that particular test like particular topic got it okay okay so it's really good to know that you attempted all the you know tests got it so uh, while you were preparing like what is uh, your opinion you know i mean w- w- what was your status regarding the notes like have you prepared your own notes or like you were uh, i have uh, prepared my own notes oh wow nice okay okay so uh, just a full notes or like short notes you prepared full notes for like it will be beneficial for my future interviews like if i go for any jobs so i could uh, quickly revise everything sir like linear algebra will be in there in machine learning and everything so if i have notes for that particular topic i could revise before interview so i prepared a full notes for that got it and by the way like uh, new uh, i mean obviously till now you might not have thought about it but but little bit like uh, what is your opinion like will you be going for uh, you know placements just after mta or you might go for phd also no sir i'll go for placements okay okay got it okay so uh, i mean you you were already interested in machine learning and then uh, that uh, brought you to get da right yes okay so what about uh, the silly mistakes uh, that you might be doing in the test so how you were able to you know make it better how you were able to overcome those silly mistakes like every time like i have a small note on my like in front of me i have a paper where i stick like don't, don't make silly mistakes every time before attempting an exam i will see that and i will 
try to control my silly mistakes even in gate da when i they gave me the like script, mm. scribble pad right so i wrote in the top don't do any silly mistakes and then i started solving everything got it so basically you were keeping that in your mind and also you were focused and that is how like you were able to you know reduce the silly mistakes right yeah initially in amti one or i think so two i made so many silly mistakes so from that time onwards i have written like started writing whenever i am solving any test or something i started to write don't make silly mistakes <laughs> yes 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 actually many um, many st- student does it even they note down their silly mistake like what kind of silly mistake they are doing like for example they are reading instead of true they are reading false or like that i mean uh, like uh, are they making the calculation mistake or these things they actually note it down to some of the students also so okay uh, got it so silly mistakes uh, you you were able to you know uh, overcome by uh, by basically writing yes writing on and my more focus basically i can say okay and what about the revision like you might be forgetting the things that you have already studied so how you went about the revision so for revision for two to three days i have turned off everything so my laptop my phone and everything so i took my written notes and every topic i started to like in from my intern onwards my pre principal has taught us that we have to write whatever we are reading so it will be we can understand very neatly so i took every notes and i started like writing on my paper and understanding everything from every small topic in that mm-hmm. way i have done two revisions so it helped me a lot like without just seeing any whatsapp telegram i have stopped every like what what we can say that social media and everything and i have only practiced the notes got it okay okay yes actually uh, coincidentally my you know uh, 10th class or 9th class uh, teachers also told me that okay whenever in fact uh, my own mother like has also told me uh, she she was teacher uh, uh, back then so she also told me that whenever you are studying something just write it down because it is better yes so like just a small example i remember uh, for example uh, you might remember that formula a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab right so uh, she told me that whenever there is a question that is coming uh, c- coming in the practice or in the exam or whenever there is a question that you want to solve for uh, for this particular formula or any other formula then even though you know the formula but but before solving the question first write it down the formula so every time you you have that question write it down the formula so yes i mean uh, for uh, like uh, at least for you know Uh, kids this help and uh, later on also it helps like whenever we are writing down the things it, it definitely help right got it okay okay so uh so i think uh, many of the things we covered uh, which is like uh, you know uh, you how you started about what you do gate da what about the notes what about the revision what about the silly mistakes um uh, yes and i think you were talking about the probability also like in probability do you remember yeah, any topic yeah. like locus sir hypothesis testing okay like, you liked it yeah initially i have already made a notes for that but i couldn't understand in depth after watching locus sir notes i have got full clarity on that okay okay so if we watch that thing we'll be guarantee we can crack an interview in machine learnings if they ask statistics yes 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 like in you in my in my campus placements they ask majorly on statistics oh okay wow okay so uh, hypothesis testing actually uh, he taught uh, you know uh, if i remember uh, he taught with a power function there was something called cop power function in hypothesis testing uh, yes. testing so i think that particular thing was quite good because it was generalized thing and then we can uh, uh, talk about the individual test like t test jet test and those yes. things right? so yes that that particular concept was really nice got it okay okay so uh, is there any you know uh, like would you like to discuss any pros and cons of go classes like i mean from your point of view like my main concern is that we need to have some staff for specifically for doubt clearings okay 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 like, we will we will definitely one, make yeah that. that is the only concern otherwise the go classes are good go. very good thank you okay so yes actually we this time we have hired uh, you know a few toppers and then uh, we are definitely working on it uh, so we, uh, we have already you know announced this that we we have hired some team uh, to uh, to clarify the doubts so yes thank you locus for pointing it out and we have we have actually already started working on it yes. okay so other than that like uh, what about like content quality and anything uh, you yeah, it's good. yeah what are i have watched those are very good the quality was very good 
got it okay thank you thank you so much lokesh okay so um, uh would you like to give you know uh, any advice to uh, future aspirants so those who will be you know watching this interview and uh, they are like hoping to you know get some motivation or hoping to you know uh, get some kick start so basically let me just tell you that uh, many of the aspirants will be there who will be studying machine learning very first time they do not know uh, the definition of machine learning they do not know anything in linear algebra or like that which is fine like which is which is okay so uh, what is your single message like you would like to give from bottom of your heart like uh, to all the aspirants who are prepare, who are uh, starting to prepare for gate da because for them it seems like a gate da is very mathematical it is very tough or like that they have these kind of things in their mind the basically i'll say only one thing when you are preparing if you get demotivated just think that what is your final goal like for me my final goal was placements in data science and everything whenever i got demotivated i just used to think that why am i reading for my gate and everything so i just think for my placements and after a few hours of rest i can like we could easily start preparing again so it's my one and like one suggestion for you all so please think about your final goals what you want to do after mtech and everything okay okay got it yes that is very true like whenever we have you know the ultimate aim in our mind that uh, then it definitely motivate motivate us whether it is you know uh, the mm, the zeal of you know just uh, getting admission into iit or just you know uh, just a eagerness to pursue masters or maybe like it could be the placement it could be research or it could be anything so whatever is your motivation you should be always keeping that in the mind right yes, yes. yes whatever is your goal yes And that's very true uh, thank you lokesh for sharing this okay uh, let me just talk about uh, you know last uh, two months like how much hectic those last two months are for you like, like it wasn't like for me i think so it wasn't much for me like okay. i'm thinking of like gate da is one of my steps to success not like it's my final destination hmm. so if we are thinking that is a final destination we'll be more tense and we'll be forgetting many topics hmm so i thought it as a stepping stone for my success and i it's not that hectic for me i think so okay okay got it so on an average like how many hours you used to study like last i think last one month i used to ready read eight hours okay before that i like i i have been simultaneously upscaling and reading for gate da so i think it's around 4 3 to 4 hours got it got it no 8 hours in last 1 uh, 2 months is really actually it is hectic only <laughs> okay so i just said like it is not hectic but yeah for most of us it is hectic but yeah i got a point uh, got it and by the way look is how many marks you have got uh, this year out of 100 yes yes 76 okay 76 uh, point something or 76 no exact sounds okay 76 is the uh, are the marks okay so your rank was 25 25 uh, yes okay so really great rank and now you will be most likely you will be joining it madras right yes okay okay so once again congratulations lokes and uh, uh, you have been our enrolled student and uh, uh, you know it is our pleasure that okay uh, i'm just talking to you that you have, you have achieved uh, top rank and uh, our course help you and thank you so much for uh, joining today thanks thank you thank you so much lokes uh...